Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Mark, and today we're diving into a fun topic that I'm sure many of you enjoy, a weekend markets. But before we get into that, let me introduce you to my friend, Alex, who's joining us today. Hi everyone. I'm Alex. I work as a graphic designer, so I'm always on the lookout for unique, creative items, especially at markets. In my free time, I love exploring different parts of the city, and weekend markets are definitely a favorite spot for me. How about you, Mark? I'm a project manager by day, but on weekends, I love checking out local markets. It's a great way to unwind, find some cool stuff, and enjoy the vibe. Speaking of which, that's what we're going to chat about today, what makes weekend markets so special and why they're worth visiting. And for those of you practicing your English, this is a great topic to help you build conversational skills. Absolutely. Weekend markets are full of interesting experiences and stories, and I can't wait to share some of mine. And don't forget, we'd love to hear about your favorite market finds and experiences in the comments below. So, Alex, what do you love most about weekend markets? I think it's the variety that draws me in. There's always something new to discover, whether it's a stall selling handmade crafts or a vendor with fresh produce. The atmosphere is lively and inviting, and it feels like a little adventure every time I go. Plus, it's a great way to support local businesses and artisans, which I'm passionate about. That's true. Have you ever found something really unique at a market? Oh, definitely. I once stumbled upon a stall that sold vintage vinyl records, and I managed to snag a rare album that I had been searching for everywhere. The thrill of finding something like that, something with a bit of history, is what makes these markets so exciting. And let's not forget about the food, there's always some delicious treat to try out. Speaking of food, do you have any favorite stalls or local delicacies you look for at these markets? I'm a big fan of trying out different food stalls. There's this one vendor who makes amazing homemade empanadas. They're a must-try every time I visit. I also love picking up fresh pastries from a local bakery stall. And then there are the more unusual offerings, like the time I tried kombucha made with local herbs. It was surprisingly good. The food is definitely one of the highlights of any market trip for me. Sounds delicious. Do you find yourself drawn to any particular types of stalls, like handmade goods or artisanal products? Absolutely. I'm always on the lookout for handmade and artisan goods. There's something special about knowing that what you're buying is one of a kind and made with care. I've picked up some beautiful pottery, hand-knit scarves, and even custom-made leather goods. These items have a story behind them, and I love that personal touch. It's like taking home a little piece of someone's craft. And how about haggling? Are you good at getting a deal? I'd say, I'm decent at it. It's all about being polite, and knowing when to push a bit and when to step back. There was this one time when I was eyeing a hand-carved wooden bowl, and after a bit of friendly back and forth, I managed to get it at a great price. It's part of the fun, and I think the vendors appreciate the interaction too. For sure. Have you noticed any new trends in markets lately? Like more vegan options or eco-friendly practices? Definitely. There's a big push towards sustainability these days, which is great to see. Many vendors are offering eco-friendly products, like reusable bags, organic skin care, and plant-based foods. I've also noticed a rise in zero-waste initiatives, where vendors encourage customers to bring their own containers. It's all about reducing our footprint, while still enjoying what the market has to offer. Plus, 
themed markets are becoming popular too, like those focused on wellness or local artisans. That's awesome. How do markets change with the seasons, like during holidays or summer festivals? Oh, markets can be so different with the seasons. Holiday markets are full of festive decorations and unique gifts, perfect for finding special presents. Summer festivals have a lively atmosphere, with outdoor stalls and lots of fresh, seasonal produce. And in autumn, you get to see harvest markets with pumpkins, apples, and homemade treats. It's amazing how the vibe shifts with each season. Nice. What about live entertainment at markets? Do you see a lot of street performers or live music? Yes, absolutely. I love when markets have live music or street performers. It adds a whole new level of excitement to the visit. Sometimes, there's a band playing upbeat tunes or a juggler entertaining the crowd. It makes the experience even more enjoyable and lively. I remember one market where there was a local band playing and it turned into a mini dance party right in the middle of the market. Sounds like a lot of fun. Do you have any must-visit market recommendations? Yes. If you're ever in the area, you should check out the Sunday market at Riverfront Park. It's huge and has everything from food stalls to handmade crafts to live music. Another one is the night market downtown. It has a great vibe, especially during the summer, with lots of food trucks and local artists showcasing their work. And if you're into antiques, the monthly flea market on the west side is a treasure trove. Each of these markets has its own unique charm. Thanks for the tips. I'll add them to my list. It's been great catching up and talking about our favorite market moments. I'm sure our viewers have enjoyed this conversation too. Absolutely. Markets are such a vibrant part of our lives and it's always fun to share our experiences. Thanks for the chat, Mark. Thank you, Alex, and thanks to everyone for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this English shadowing practice and found it helpful for your conversation skills. Don't forget to share your own market stories in the comments below, and if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. See you next time.